Welcome everyone. We have something fun in store today. So yesterday I started a Brogue Round Robin account. I've been playing Brogue non-stop for the past 10 days or so. Well, not non-stop, only on the weekends I was doing my streams, but it, over 20 hours of gameplay on those days. Um, and I've been having a blast. Uh, I've, I've played it before, but I started again and I have been really enjoying it. So we had an idea to start a round robin account. If you remember how the NetHack round robin account, it's basically a shared account where players take turns on some kind of loosely defined interval. And um, it's like a kind of like a relay race where you, well, there's no racing or competition, but you, you pass off the, the run. And then it's really fun because first of all, it's like a shared experience. Like with this one so far, we've been talking so much and like spectating other players and stuff. And it's been great. And also you kind of like get dropped into like some situations that you might never really set up for yourself. So it's a good way to like try new things and uh, like experience things in a fresh context. Uh, and by the way, the NetHack round robin is still going quite strong. Uh, it's been a little slow lately, and I haven't been on myself in a while, unfortunately, but I'd like to get on there soon. But we have a character that's past the castle, so pretty cool stuff there. I'm going to have to hop back on that sometime soon, but uh, definitely, if you guys are into either that one or this one, check it out. It's on the Discord link below. That's where we're organizing it and having a blast. So... Yeah, this this one's this is already our second round. We the first one made it to death sixteen, which is over halfway through the the dungeon, which is really cool to really surprising actually because Brogue is a difficult game, um, but we we made it pretty far, and so this run got started a few hours ago, and there's already been a bunch of people on it. So we're on death eight now, and let's see what kind of build we have. Oops. So we're playing on Web Rogue. I get a little bit of latency there, here. Um, a little input delay, which is a little annoying. So I'll be using the mouse to move a lot and probably like control movement and some of the other options here. So I've been following the, the chat and discussion. So what we've no mostly got going on here is a conjuration wisdom build, which is really cool. So con I, and I've never done this before and I'm excited as heck to try it out. So Conjuration is a staff that summons blades. If you've ever seen a, a Goblin Conjurer, that's what they do. And those guys are annoying. Um, and then Wisdom makes all your stabs recharge faster. So basically, you, this build is going to be like spamming blades um, to kill stuff. And we also have a Rapier, which is really neat for this build. So a Rapier is, in a way, like... And actually, I've never even used a Rapier before. Um, but it's a pretty good weapon if you're going to be someone that's not going to be enchanting you, like another weapon because if you don't enchant a weapon you can't hit things very well unless you sneak attack or if you have a rapier and you lunge so lunge is a special like ranged rapier attack that'll attack from up to three tiles away I think and what I learned today is with conjuration you can lunge through your blades and then when you back up you swap places with your blades so you can lunge again instead of having the enemy follow you backwards and not be able to create space. So that's really cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Scale mail. Huh. Oh, we must have had to remove curse or something. I don't know how we knew this was safe to wear. Unless someone just wanted to put me in a tough spot. We'll find out. Incendiary darts, a war pike, which is also cool. That that's a spear type weapon, so you attack two tiles, so you can attack over your blades. Uh, broadsword, uh, a really nice weapon. Um, this is like this says the most damage per second out of any weapon in the game. Not to be confused with the highest single hit damage, which is the war uh, warhammer. Splint mail, banded mail. Let's see, confusion, paralysis. Looks like we haven't had detect magic yet, which is a pretty essential part to of this game for. Um, item identification. Um, it's it's usually pretty tough when you get this far in the game without that, but I, we must have got some vaults which give you guaranteed safe items. Potion of life is great to have. So if I click on this, increases your max health by twenty five. So these and brogue, you don't have a everything's like percentages and it doesn't tell you exact values, which is a little annoying sometimes, but it's it's like okay. It's good. It's really helpful when like quickly trying to examine like how 
your relative strength against enemies. But so potions of life give you 10 health. So this increases our health by 25, which means we have 40 health right now, which can be helpful to know. You start with 30, so we've used one potion of life so far. And we want to hold that for an emergency though, because it's a good um, healing item. Um, we got some scroll stacks here. A wand of fireball, which is a really nice supplementary weapon or item on any build. A wand of negation. Uh, let's see, a ring that is either transference or clairvoyance, and it might be cursed, so we don't want to put it on yet. Clairvoyance would be cool. Either of those would be cool. Uh, protection charm's pretty sweet too. So we've got a lot of items. We're having a bit of an inventory problem. We have some allies, which is cool. We're playing on Brogue uh, one point, or Community Edition 1.9.3, where allies are a little more common. My uh, my streams that I've been doing, and there should be VODs up on the YouTube channel for the runs I've been doing, have all been um, 1.7.5 with uh, with bug fixes. Um, but I think one um, CE Community Edition is a little more popular, so I decided to use this for the round robin account. So we have a goblin, two goblin mystics. So these guys cast protection. Oh, that's all they really do. But protection is pretty nice, especially if you have two of them, like spamming it on you. And then an ogre. Ogres are are strong, nice allies. Okay, and there's some stuff on the ground here. A whip, leather armor, and a spear. That must be our leather armor. Our starting leather. Yeah, you start with a dagger and leather in this game. We have another scroll. And a splint mail. Wow, we really want to detect magic so we can figure out like what equipment here is is good. All right, let's take a quick peek, quick peek downstairs. I want to search. Nothing's down here. I, I've been trying to search a lot, and I'm trying to like figure out the right balances for that. And I'd rather be more aggressive with it than um, not searching often. Okay, not much down here. What do our discoveries look like so far? Oh, we haven't discovered much. So if I drink that potion, we always want to look at what the bad potions could be. Cossack gas, hallucination, incineration, darkness, descent, or creeping death. So life, having a potion of life cures most of this stuff. So uh, we really want to find detect magic, and I want to do it on this. You know what? I think we want to chuck some of these items down the down the chasm and then drink it on the floor below. So what detect magic does it tells you if your your items are either positively or well, it uses like blessed and cursed, which is really helpful. And we if you find like blessed equipment it's great to use so, because how progression works in brogue and i'm being a little bit more over explaining stuff this first episode in case people haven't played brogue before or are checking it out um you don't have character progression or experience levels everything is tied to items and scrolls of enchantment which are distributed throughout the dungeon and you level up your items instead of your character so if you can get an item that's already enchanted it's like free levels basically so and also, if we know an item is cursed, we can ditch it. So that's why we want to try to find out if like any of these items are good. So let's go ahead and gather some items. So what do I have in my inventory right now? Our pack is full. Let's drop a few things. Actually, I'm going to... So chasms are really good for inventory problems because you can just start throwing stuff down a chasm. And it falls onto the next floor instead of having to carry it to the stairs or something. And things, unlike a game like NetHack, things actually like land, they try to land pretty close to where you actually dropped through. So when we drink these potions, we're going to be checking for Descent, which drops us to the next floor. If we do that next to the stairs, we're going to land next to the stairs and come right back up. Stuff like that. Um, so I have three items slots here, or open my inventory. Okay, so I can go grab this stuff real quick. You hear something get destroyed in combat. Something must be fighting my spectral blades. There's a toad. I'm gonna back up. 
Okay. So Toads hallucinate you, which is really annoying. It's a lot like NetHack hallucination. I'm gonna go apply our Conjuration Staff. So that the Toad can't attack me. And I'm gonna back up. Alright, the Toad is dead. I don't know if it can hallucinate your allies. I'm not, I'm not really sure how that works. I'm gonna assume there's no traps in these rooms because someone's been here already. Spear, leather, whip. So I'm gonna chuck all this stuff down there. I'm holding onto the war pipe because that's actually like pretty good, although. We don't know if it's good yet, so maybe no reason to hold on to it. I feel like Warpike or the Rapier are what we're going to end up with, but you can find, like, they're called Runic Simbrog. They're, like, items with special magic properties. You can get some really cool stuff. All right, so we get we have stuff getting destroyed. Our blades. I'm gonna zap conjuration again, just to get more blades. So our conjuration staff, with the ring of wisdom, which makes stabs recharge faster, recovers every thirty-seven turns. It's probably capped out now, so I may as well cast ahead of time and let things let that start recharging. All right, now let's get back here. Kind of funny having combat everywhere and not knowing what's going on. I've never played this kind of build before, so I'm really excited to to do this. This is actually like the potential start of like a really strong build. You know, what I just realized is detect magic. I'm gonna to want to use it on the next floor, and if that's descent, that could be bad. So I might have to wait till I get to the stairs of the next floor. That's a little awkward, but we'll we'll work it out. I have something else to drop. I guess that was it. See all our items just dropped right there. Another chasm. We can keep dropping stuff if we want. Allies can be pretty annoying with traps. I should be careful with searching, actually, because this build is going to have tough time with the food clock. We found a vent here. We definitely want to search when there's vents. So this was a paralysis trap. There's a goblin. Spam blades down there. Okay, there's like a, a bunch of goblins down here. I'll let our ogre catch up to them. I'll spam more blades. Actually, I guess I can fight these pretty well. Goblins aren't strong, so I'm going to see if I can get a lunge on this one. You dispatch the goblin with a vicious lunge attack. So it looks like it goes two tiles. Alright, I'm going to lunge this one too. So I hit this one with a lunge. Oh, it must have been protected. These guys are hasted too, which is a little annoying. What are our stats against these looks, look like? They have a 38% chance to hit us and hit us for like not a lot of our health. Alright, I probably shouldn't keep wasting blades on them. It'd be nice for the, our ogre to catch up. I'll get a lunge on this guy. Dead. I'll get a lunge on the guy in the bottom. Dead. Alright, 
right, I'll just attack the guy next to us. Dead. Let's kill this. Dude, lunging is fun. How come no one's ever told me this before? Back up and lunge. Boom. So lunge always hits, and it does, I think, times three damage. It is not insignificant. There's a sleeping goblin and a wandering ogre. Okay. We kill the ogre with our firebolt staff, I think. I want to make sure it's not standing on grass. There's a lot of environmental interaction in Brogue, so if you shoot a firebolt over grass, it's going to light on fire. And the big thing you want to be careful of, like outside of like not letting yourself on fire, is not letting that fire spread and burn up a scroll. The scrolls can be really valuable, especially since enchantment, the main progression tool in this game, is a scroll. You don't want to lose any of those. Cool, so the ogre ca catches fire. Oh shoot, he's walking into the grass. Why do you back up? Oh no, he stepped onto this tile. You can't go diagonally across corners in Brogue. So the ogre is currently burning. Let's send some blades in. So he can just burn while he gets nicked by our blades. Our ogre is shielded by the goblin mystics. Having two goblin mystics is kind of cool. So that ogre is getting pummeled by all our guys. Oh, here's the goblin next to us. Is he hasted? How did he just stab me? I thought he was two tiles away. Or three tiles away. What just happened there? Well, let's lunge into him. I'll back up and go for another lunge. Boom. All right. We got food up there, which is great. Brogue has a really tough... Hunger clock. I finish. Do a full search here. Let's see, it sounds like there's more combat over here. Thought we had a telepathy charm, but that must have been last run. We have here alarm trap. Traps are pretty useful to use against enemies as well as allies. It's pretty neat. All right, well, I'm going to check up here. Oh, there's another ogre. Can I... Actually, my our, our squad probably kills him. Ogre defeated the ogre, yeah. And they don't even get hurt because they're shielded. This is kind of OP. Search over here in case of secret doors. So community edition has more allies. So I'm not used to having quite this kind of army because this is pretty rare in the vanilla version. Interesting. Search in here. a sleeping ogre. How much damage does he do to us if he hits? 27% of our health. Okay, he's hunting now. I'll let him fight our, our squad. I was going to go for a lunge, but let's let him fight our squad first. I'm gonna wait till he's off balance, and then I'll I'll attack him. So he's off balance now because they ogres attack slow. So now I can attack him for free. He's still off balance, and I can attack him again. Yeah, and I miss. Now I'm gonna back up.
He's off balance again. I'm going to hit. Cool. We won. So, so yeah, striking him off balance means I can back up for free. That was pretty cool. You developed a telepathic bond with your goblin mystic. Sweet. Yeah, so once you've had a a uh, ally for long enough, you develop a bond with them. Um, uh, goblin conjurer. Let's see who has the better conjuration skill. Looks like we do. Good stuff. All right, peek downstairs. Finish exploring this room. So I think, I think the spectral blades fly so they can't set off traps. Yeah. Oh, it looks like we already searched. All right, let's peek down here. Okay, nothing to see. We didn't find any items on the ground yet. That's interesting. Uh, just this, actually. And a piece of food. That's notable. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drink potions. Telepathy. What other options do we have? Cost of gas, hallucination, incineration, darkness. I'm going to get my allies away. Oh, cool. Telepathy shows us stuff down here. I see some raids down there, which are dangerous. All right. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to drink the incineration, or potential incineration here. Fire immunity. Stop drinking these deadly potions when your allies are around, because a lot of them do AoE damage. Cost of gas is another one to be concerned about. Man, no detect magic yet. I guess we're going to be hucking all these items down the chasm again. Um, there's a statue trap. We detected via telepathy. Nice. The troll down there, which is a little dangerous for us, I think. You are now familiar enough with your scale mail to identify it. It is scale mail. So just plus zero. Okay. The acid mount is sleeping. Let's get my allies over to this door. Although they're probably gonna open the door. Yeah, that's fine. Goblin skewers the acid mound in its sleep. Acid mounds corrode your weapons and armor, which gives them negative enchantments, which is really, really bad. All right, let's see what this statue is. Cracks begin snaking across the marble surface of the statue. Probably an ogre. Conjure some blades just in case. Hey, it's an ogre. Okay, it's off balance. So I'm going to go for the lunge. So off balance, I'm going to hit it again. Now it's not off balance. I'm going to back up. It's like our ogre and their ogre, or that ogre is getting into it. Can I lunge from here? Oh my god, I can lunge diagonally across a corner. He can't actually hit me here. That's actually kind of insane. 
corner lunges? Oh. What a technique. That feels good. Spider just spawned. I still have a blade over there. All right, let's continue throwing stuff off the ledge. Oh, shoot. My spectral blade moved. I just mulched the spear. If you hit something with an item, you, uh, you lose the weapon. So an ally, my spectral blade got in front of me and I threw the spear at it. I killed the blade and I lost the spear. That's unfortunate. Yeah, weapons always get consumed when, they, when you hit them. Or when you hit something with them. You gotta watch out for that. I'm not used to having allies like this. At least it wasn't like the Warpike or something. Which I'm also going to chuck off. Oh, I almost did it again. Out of my way, spear. Okay. Um, I can throw the food down too. Just one of them. All right, let's grab this. Let's give that spider more blades to play with. Spiders are actually super annoying. I'm gonna give him a lot of blades. Oh, I hit my, my ally. Those ones spawn right next to me. See how they fare. But these aren't that strong, but you overwhelm them with numbers. You kill them with paper cuts. Okay, we need to eat. Ooh. Oh my god, a teleportation charm? Those are really strong. Hello. Gold does nothing in this game, by the way. It's just for points. So dumping all of your enchants into a teleportation charm can be one of the stronger builds in the game. You can teleport literally every turn. You're still pretty fragile, and it's really hard to get to that point because it's not good until it gets like really high. Empire bats. Um, why did this become a different color? Uh, probably because of the ESP. I'm only seeing on ESP. Let's see. So now I'm deciding if I want to walk all the way back over here or if I want to jump down the chasm. I'm going to jump down the chasm. I think my allies don't follow though. Okay, I think we. It's a tough choice. I think only flying allies. Now let's find out. Especially because we we have telepathy still. It'd be nice to see where enemies are. All right, so two raids, a goblin, a centipede, pink jelly. They're like puddings in that hack, and another goblin. 
Okay, not too much. Um, there's an obvious secret door down here. I'll just start searching while my allies come down. Yeah, okay, they, they do come down. Oh, they take damage as they fall. Good to know. All right, so this looks like it doesn't connect most likely. So let's go up here first. Interesting, interesting level layout. Bloodwort, this heals you. I don't think we need it. So I don't see any threats nearby. Where did the Goblin Mystics go? I wonder if the Mystics didn't have enough health to jump down or something, so they have to walk around. Where's the downstairs? I'm gonna let my ogre batter the jelly. I have a feeling it's gonna split a lot. If I try to nick it with my blades. I'll get a lunge on it too. I wonder if the lunge does more damage or not. Dude, lunges are fun. All right, so yeah, my, my allies are actually getting beat up without the mystics. I'm gonna peek downstairs. Um, There could be a secret room here. I guess we're actually doing kind of good on food so far. No reason to waste that, but I'll do a search here. Step is by the stairs and a chasm. So I'll just leave it there. It's a convenient spot for me to come back to. All right, there's a gas vent here. Let's search. Uh, we did not find the trigger. Just concerning. Oh, here's the trigger actually. Oh no, that's an alarm trap. Where is the trigger? Oh, a potion of life. Heck yeah. So, po uh, and along with scrolls of enchantment, uh, potions of life and strength are your level up tools because they permanently increase your stats. Um, HP and strength, respectively. All right, we'll let that goblin deal with some blades. What? Another Staff of Conjuration? So if you use a staff until it runs out of charges, you learn how many charges it has. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, an 0 and 2 Staff of Conjuration. That's not very good next to our other staff. So this one takes 113 turns to recharge, even with our staff of, or ring of wisdom. The other one's down to 37, and it creates less blades per per uh, per enchant, or I'm sorry, per cast. Although I do wonder with the ring of wisdom, if like buffing this to like four or six and having two of these is better than having one enchanted even higher. Because you can get them both down to like, man, we got to run some numbers on that. Because there's a point where you can get it down so you can cast it every turn. But what if you could save like several enchants by getting them down to like every other turn or something? It probably doesn't work out that well. Because we'd have to sink enchants into the conjuration staff either way. I don't know. It's an interesting thing to think about. All right, let's go down here first because I'll probably 
loop up here if I can. Otherwise, I'll just check here and go back to, to the exit. I'm trying to just explore like as efficiently as possible. Where are our mystics? Oh, this is annoying. We have a telepathic bond with our mystics. Okay, so this changes things. I'm gonna throw a dart on that trap. I'm just gonna set it off. But we're not here. So I'm gonna walk away, let the ga caustic gas dissipate, and then we'll come back and walk past it. And this might even connect down here, so we can just pick it up and leave this way. Broke has really cool gas physics, by the way. Like the gas actually expands like faster because and it's like denser in this tight corridor. I'm gonna lunge the goblin. It dies. This will search here. Our pack is full. I'm gonna throw <laughs> I'm gonna throw the staff of conjuration down. We don't need it. Um let's go ahead and like Drop something over here. Guess I can throw the ring down too. It's hard to use, like, know if we any of this is safe to use without de magic detection. So I know I'm not going to use it till the next floor. Room for two items. It should be enough for the rest of the floor, maybe. Two potions of confusion. I guess I don't need two. All right, let's see what else is here. We can pick that back on the way out. Nothing here, really. Another thing is um, Brogue tries to path on tiles you've already stepped on or that you know there aren't traps. I think it'll track where their enemy stepped on them, too. So see right here, it's trying to bend around this. It's because I didn't walk straight through that room the first time. Vampire bats. So vampire bats are deadly early. They shouldn't be that bad here. And I wonder if they gain life, because they gain life on hit. That's like the whole vampire thing. I wonder if they gain life off of blades. Doesn't look like it. Either that or they just died of the blades so fast anyways. Let's lunge it for the kill. Oh, there was a secret door here. Cause I doubt this connects this way. Uh, maybe maybe there's a corridor down here actually. Oh shoot, the raids! I forgot about the raids. Okay, these are actually dangerous. Let's check their stats. We have a forty-five percent chance to hit it, and we typically deal eight percent of its health. It has a sixty-six percent chance to hit us, and it typically hits for twenty-three percent of our health. So it it wrecks us and straight up combat and it moves fast so you can't run from it we're definitely gonna conjure blades on it fire is actually pretty good here but i'm standing in a i think we'll be fine with blades i'm gonna cast some more go for the lunge the wraith hit us and did a, did a third of our health so now the Wraith tries to flee when they're at low health, that's what they do, but it can't get away from our blades. All right, there's another Wraith down there. I think I'm just gonna let our ally, our ogre get down there. Our ogre is gonna wreck it. Um, and they might need some support. I'll go down there to try and help. I'll take the last kill with a lunge. Voila. 
All right, I'm gonna search here. Maybe there's a secret door up top. No, it's probably up here. I'm not even concerned about going in here. There was a centipede in here and we saw nothing else. I guess there could be a scroll down there. Okay, let's check. Oh, there's a door down here too. I'm being a little inefficient with my movements right now. Kill the sleeping scent. No, it's hunting. Okay. It's fine. Typically hit for 400. Oh, that's a blade. 26% of the centipede's current health. So lunge probably isn't good yet. I'm going to lunge now. All right. Dead. Okay, there's nothing out over here. All right, so I think we want to go down here. <laughs> we had one blade down here just holding it down. Respect. So we can pick up our... Oh, we can't pick up our dart, actually. Hmm, how do I want to do that? Oh, here we go. I'm going to drop something else. So my allies can cross. Oh, where's he going? I'm gonna pick up my wand, then I'll back up. Okay. That ogre's gonna slip on that trap. And I'm going to block them with Conjuration, and he's not going to be able to escape. And I don't think my blades are affected by gas. I guess we'll find out in a second. Doesn't look like it. Have fun, Ogre. That is devious. All right, let's go grab this. Back down here. Oh, there's a pressure plate. Okay, we found it. It's just under an item. Oh my god. A bunch of our items landed on pressure plates. Now, if an item's... This is interesting. So normally if an item is on a trap, you can't set it off. But this level was generated with the item there. Well, it wasn't generated. But I don't know if it counted as it's setting it off. And it's because it's asking me when I step on it, it implies that it's going to get set off. So we're going to test this, but it's going to be scary. Let's throw the whip down. What else do I have? Throw the broadsword. I mean, I actually probably just want to hold the food. Now we have a lot of nutrition. It's going to land right next to the stairs for the next player to pick up. Hold up. Where did our... We got to go... Wait. Where are our mystics at? I want to go back upstairs and see if we can find our mystics. It's just a leather armor. We can stop carrying that around, huh? It's a force of habit. Okay, so these are paralysis triggers. So you know what isn't? Just in case we accidentally set these off. Conjuration blades are not affected by paralysis. Okay. This is dangerous. You hear something destroyed in combat. Well, it worked.
Okay, it looks like I can throw the splint. Over here now. Make some more conjuration blades. And pick up this item. Net trap. I didn't think it would be another paralysis trigger. I wasn't sure what that might be though. It probably told me when I went to step onto it. Okay, what else was that? The warp pike? Let's try to not mulch this. There we go. Alright, I gotta go back upstairs. I gotta see what happened to the mystics. Those allies are actually pretty dope. Massive mountain getting wrecked. Dude, this is insane. Oh, shoot. Pull these guys down. What's my lunge look like on him? 22% of your current health. Okay, let's see if we can lunge the bottom one. Boom. Take that. Alright, the other one's dead. This one's just wandering still. How to charges. I'm gonna note the turn that it's out of charges so that we can know when it's fully recharged. I'm I'm gonna try and leave the next player on this seed, because our round's almost up, a, a fully charged wand. Let me just lunge this guy. Dispatched. Okay, now my Goblin Mystics are coming. Let's all search here while I wait. Okay, what? Oh shoot, they're fighting a troll. I'm gonna get a sneak attack on the troll here. Troll's still wandering. Actually, you don't get sneak attacks on trolls or on enemies with uh with rapier, so I may as well Can I use conjuration yet? Turn six one six eight. Yeah, I got like two charges. Think recharges so fast. And let's take the lunge. Trolls regenerate. I'll let my ogre batter it. Okay, the ogre's probably off balance. No, he's not yet. I'm gonna let him swing again. Did he attack that time? What's my ogre doing? Oh, he's clubbing him. Oh, it doesn't say off balance for your own ally. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, now there's like jackals and stuff? What's going on here? They have their own mystics. <laughs> All the mystics are running away together. This is hilarious. Lunge the jackal. Dang, our lunge can't kill jackals and goblins. I'm out of spectral blade charges. Okay, this guy has no health. Oh, they were shielded, that's why. Let's pick up this guy. I'll let the ogre do some work there. I 
That's her ally. And these guys are still shielded, huh? The lunge. We can probably just smack him to kill him, right? Cool. Now here's a... Goblin Mystic. That is an enemy. Send blades at him. Oh my god. I can just leave them wandering. I don't know if my allies are going to chase him forever, though. I kind of just want to go. Oh shoot, he dropped a... They dropped a potion. Hold up. Okay, rewarded for uh, for sticking around and killing them. Well, I tried to leave, but my allies got my back. Cool. All right, let's get the heck out of here. After that detour. All right, so what turn is it? 341. We probably just recharge for like 200-ish turns. Yeah, this staff is mostly charged up. I'm gonna search down here, let our allies come down. And so the rule of thumb we have is to play out about two floors. For the round robin um if you have uneventful floors you can play like a little more if you have eventful ones you can play a little less if you don't kind of chasm don't worry about having to like explore half a floor to get back but i've played my my fair share here and those were some uh decently eventful floors so i'm gonna pass this off to the next player someone's probably gonna hop on tonight i'm sure because this is getting been getting a lot of activity and this is a super fun build i've never gotten to play the the Wisdom Conjuration build. This is really cool. Super exciting. Can't wait to see where this thing goes. I hope I get a few more rounds on it because this is a cool play style. It's pretty rare that you get the Ring of Wisdom and the Conjuration like this this early to actually set it up. This could be very, very strong. But yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Again, if you guys want to try this account yourself, the Round Robin, participate. Uh, come join us on the Discord. It is down below in the links. And... Even if you're a new player, it's a great way to learn. Um, we already splatted a character on here this morning. It's it's even more fun like playing a, a new account than uh, continuing like the old one. So we've, it, it, don't be concerned at all about dying or if you're like a newer player. Zero judgment on this account. It's a great way to learn because we're talk constantly talking strategy with uh, other players. Um, you can get like other players to spectate you when you play if you want and like learn through that and ask for help and share the situation you're in. Um, it's way more interactive than just playing on your own. It's a great way to learn. So um, new players, experience alike, are highly encouraged to come and join us. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I will be definitely playing more of this um, as long as I remain interested in Brogue on this uh, current Brogue stint I'm on, I'm on. But thanks again for hanging out, guys. I'm going to leave it here, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.